My name is Joana Pimiento, I'm from Colombia, I am the general manager of the e-government strategy there and uh, we prepared this um, document uh, about how to promote the user uptake of e-government uh, with uh, Diana Parra Silva who was our former uptake director in the program but now she is working as an um, advisor with the government of Uruguay. So we prepared together this paper and I'm here to, to share it with you. Let me start with some questions, some questions that maybe are common for you. One is, how much money have your countries invested in e on e-government initiatives? The other one is, what would happen if people don't use the available online services or all the initiatives that we are promoting by e-government uh, projects? If people do not use the services, what is the value of the efforts made by public administrations? And also, don't we need a critical mass of users to achieve the social return of investment on e-government initiatives? Those were the questions that we had uh, back in 2007. And because of that, that, those questions, we decided to start a marketing strategy for e-government in Colombia. Uh, and that's what I'm going to share with you, the experience that we have during the process of implementing this marketing strategy. First of all, we try to define a baseline and uh, we make uh, uh, some studies and the first implementation of our monitor monitoring and evaluation model and we found something like that. 23% of Colombians have visited a website of the government, just, just only 23%. 77% of the people didn't know how e-government services worked or considered them unsafe or unreliable. Also, only 4% had used a, gover a government online service. And, but the, the, we found also an opportunity, and is that 54% of non-users were willing to use e-gov services. It means that more or less 20 million of people in Colombia were willing to use e-gov services, which means a huge opportunity. Then we decided to start a more focused diagnosis and we made uh, many studies, we made surveys with, with people in uh, with citizens directly, with uh, small and medium companies, with large companies. Also, we made uh, focus groups with uh, citizens, entrepreneurs, and public servants. We made interviews also with ICT companies. Um, and, and we also take a look to the leading countries. What were they doing in order to uh, guarantee the user uptake of the government service? 